in uh, 12 of the country's most loved magazines such as Bona, Country Life, Essentials, Food and Home, Entertaining, etc. Uh, lots more. Uh, today we are going to be talking about the world of work. It is a new segment and uh, Nadine is going to be talking to us about journalism. Um, good day, Nadine. How are you? I'm good, thanks. And yourself? I'm well, thank you. It's a pleasure having you. All right. Thank uh, you. Let's start off uh, by uh, with uh, the journalism career. Um, uh, what 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 does it take to be a great journalist? What are some qualities that a candidate should have? Okay. Well, uh, first of all, you need to have an ear for news. Uh, so wherever you are and whatever you do, you need to see something that is worth newsworthy and um, something that will be of interest to anyone else who, who listens or to the public. So you need to have that ear, the sharp ear. And in actual fact, anything, even that someone else sees as something that is small, can be turned into news. So you also need to have that skill of, you know, turning something into a small issue, into a big issue. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember back in um, college, my lecturer used to say, you need to have a nose for news. And now that you mentioned you need to have an ear for news, it's like, hey, <laughs> might as well also add in your eyes for news. You need to see yes, things. everything else. Put everything else in there. All right. Uh, uh, what um, uh, types of journalism is there? Uh, you have a whole lot. So um, uh, you have your... Um, your hard news, and then you have your investigative mm -hmm. journalism, you have your soft, which is more like entertainment, that would be your entertainment, and then you have your human interest, and um, yeah, then sports, you have sports, and there are people who like to specialize in photography, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so there's a variety, yeah. All right. Uh, what course should uh, one do if they would like to be a qualified journalist? Uh, one can do the journalism itself. There's a course, straight course um, that is journalism, uh, BA journalism, BA journalism degree, or you can also study media studies. Uh, I think that helps more because you get to cover a lot more the broader field of the journalism field rather than, you know, just one one field or one section of it. So mm -hmm. media studies will also help. And in there, you can also have your politics and have your public relations, your communications, and your English as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and how long will the course take? Uh, for me, mine personally took three years. So the BA journalism degree took three years. For others, others prefer to do their honours, to continue and do their honours, which is four years. And for other people, um, I think, yeah, basically, I think the most is four years, really. Uh -huh, four years. Right. That's the maximum. How how challenging is it to be in the journalism field? Uh, it is challenging in the way, in the sense that you have to balance between your theory and your practical. Mm -hmm. Because you need to, um, you get to learn your media ethics within the lecture room. And then thereafter, you need to know how to work on the field, how to conduct interviews with people, whether on the phone or uh, live interviews or different types of interviews, whether it's television or, you know, for print, you need to be able to write uh, at the same time asking questions, you know, and take photos for the print as well. So there's a lot that goes into it. Um, there's a lot of skills that come into that. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you need to have a lot of skills. Okay. And uh, what, what should students know before deciding to take on a career like journalism? Um, well, they should know that there's, <laughs> it's a lot of field work, mm -hmm. really. It's a lot of field work. And you, uh, in today's world, you're expected to know a lot more. You're expected to balance between um, your, your office work and your digital work. You need to know your digital stuff. So you need to be able to upload your stories online. You need to be able to know how to do Twitter and post your stories on Twitter, your short, uh, you know, stories on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Be basically just be technologically 
technologically savvy, if I can say. So that's what they need to know. And there's a lot of balancing, really, within, and you have to travel a lot. So, you know, you won't just spend your time in the office. You need to travel a lot to get your news out there. You need to get to know your sources, know your community. If you are a community reporter, and, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of, you know, getting mm-hmm. to know people, know what your audience is like, your sources, what are your sources like, mm-hmm. you know, look into your sources and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I think it's important for people to realize that um, they need they need to be honest and truthful. Uh, you cannot be making up things about people or situations Absolutely. and putting it out there because it will come back to bite you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Double check your facts mm-hmm. and make sure that your sources are reliable. It, it, may, it may be hard to, you know, get reliable sources, but you have to do your homework as well. No matter how, like, if some things may look easy on the surface and you take them for granted, you think, okay, you know, this is a well-known name, but you have to do your part. You have to play your part. You can't take things for granted. If you have to record people talking, then do that. And, you know, if you have to look into people's history or whatever background to make sure to double check that they're reliable, then do that because you can't take anything, everything on the surface. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Well, uh, thank you so much for your time, Nadine, and uh, for sharing with us just some um, brief insight as to what goes on uh, behind being a journalist. Absolutely. It's such a pleasure. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. You too. Thank you so much. Bye. That was uh, Nadine uh, Sibanda, who is a journalist uh, with uh, Caxton Magazines, uh, talking about uh, journalism, and uh, we're just getting just getting a bit of insight on uh, that career. Um, I did journalism, just by the way, um, but not broad journalism. I did media studies plus journalism plus radio broadcasting. Uh, so I have some uh, background there, and I can give you guys a. Uh, a tip or two when it comes to journalism and like I mentioned earlier and also Nadine mentioned that you need to have a nose for news you need to be that nosy person you know sometimes people don't like a nosy person but if you want to be in the journalism field you need to become that nosy person you need to want to know things and also share those that information that you have gathered with people um, because it's it's pointless if you don't have those qualities and you are not going to uh, become a great journalist you need to also stand for your truth you will have a lot of people who will come into the field I mean who will uh, be threatening you threatening your life your family whatever it is or your job because of uh, what you stand for but you need to be firm in your belief and you need to stand for your truth and um I used to love investigative journalism. You know, I loved the the thrill of just going after something so bad and then exposing the people for who they are, uh, uh, bringing out uh, the truth and shedding some light into the situation. And one of my favorite investigative journalists were was uh, Deborah Patton. I used to love Third Degree. Uh, I'm not much of a person who would go into investigative journalism, um, but I like it. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll be bringing for you stories of uh, some mafia and some mobs and who knows, who knows what else could go on there. Let's let's just hope. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's not for me. Anyways, if you have any questions regarding uh, the journalism career, please send them to us on uh, WhatsApp. Uh, I think I could give you guys a bit of advice because I am in the field. Uh, by the way, I am in um, broadcast media, broadcast journalism. And um, you do get different types. There's a print journalism. Um, there's a broadcast journalism. Print journalism is all about your newspaper, your uh, pamphlets, your magazines, anything that is print related. Uh, back, um, I think, in the before the advent of uh, the uh, the internet and um, 
the rise of social media, we we still had a lot of newspapers and magazines that we would read without having to go, uh, well, we would buy them, so we don't have to find them on our phones. But these days, everything is on our mobile phone, so we don't need to actually go out and buy a newspaper or a magazine. So back then, uh, print media was uh, the thing, you know, there were newspapers everywhere, and everybody wanted to get the latest copy of the Sunday Times or... Um, whatever other newspaper was available to get the latest uh, news because we wanted to know what is happening in the world around us and magazines as well we wanted to uh, read magazines and get some insight on uh, to what's happening uh, again in the world around us but also looking at pretty pictures and answering crossword puzzles etc um and now we have uh social media we have uh, online media thanks to our mobile devices, we have news on the go with us. And then there's broadcast media, like the media that I do, that's your uh, TV and your radio broadcasting. Uh, and there's just so much that goes on. It it, it, it takes a lot to, to get a show like this one on air. Um, there's a production, a, a whole team of producers, there's a team of uh, technical producers, uh, producers of the show, uh, presenters just do part of the job, and then you know uh, pr producers do uh, uh, a lot more than what I actually do. It's not just about presenting and coming behind the mic and talking, and you know you actually have to prepare and have a plan. And if something goes wrong, you have to have a backup plan. So one day, um, if there's anyone looking to intern. They can come through and we'll take you through what goes on behind the scenes uh, and what's it like to be in radio broadcasting and be a broadcast journalist and uh, TV. I've had some experience with TV as well. Uh, with TV, there's uh, live and there's also pre-recorded with news. News is, is mostly live, but they do have some segments that are recorded for later use. Uh, but uh, the bulk of it is live. Like we have been uh, seeing the protests, uh, the uh, the uh, strike rather, that has been going on with Kosatu, the country's biggest strike. And uh, the journalists have been uh, on the field in different parts of the country where the strikes are taking place and they're bringing the news feed live to us. So uh, we can see the news live, but it's also pre-recorded, which will be played uh, later on just to uh, uh, bring it back and to show people what the strike was like because obviously when the strike the strike is not going to go on for the whole day so we need to have something to see for those people who are watching the news at three or who will be watching the news at five or whatever other times they will be watching and again there's a team behind that there's, there are a team of researchers there are a team of producers there are a team of uh, cameramen and women uh uh people who um, hold the reflector lights even. Yes, there are people who do that, people who hold the mic above your head, buffers, gaffers, this and that, directors, producers, everything, guys. It, they, it, there's so much that you can do in this field of journalism, and it's not just limited to writing and telling stories uh, or working for a newspaper. It depends on the type of journalis journalism that you would like to do but you need to also major in uh, communications and English. Uh, well, English is a universal language. Depending on where you are in the world, you can major in your own uh, language, uh, depending on that part of the country. But uh, English is uh, universal, and you need to major in English and uh, communications. So I hope I've given you enough insight on to uh, journalism and how to become a journalist. Uh, do your research. Uh, and pick pick the university or college that you feel will be great for you, will give you enough out of the career path that you want. Um, and get some experience as well, some work experience uh, in, in the field. It's, it's very important to get some work experience before actually going out in the field. Uh, you need to intern with a newspaper, magazine, or another media company that you find available and establish connections with reporters and editors. Uh, you need to build your own um, solid uh, connections so that if you need something, you can always just refer back to 
one of uh, your contacts that you have there. And uh, that brings us to the end of our show for today. We will continue with the segment again next week, bringing uh, to you more insight in the world of work. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, queries, or suggestions, send them to us on WhatsApp. The number is 61 And also, uh, we are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and we would love to hear from you. But uh, from myself, Mario Mukonda, and the rest of the Salamida team, I will be back here on Monday. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.